Dante, uh, Coach was talking last night about the importance of guards and wings helping rebounding. Um, just what do you kind of see in, and, and what, what's kind of the mentality that would be like to kind of short some uh, offensive rebounds? Um, I think we're doing 90% of the job. Uh, last 10% is actually going to get the ball. Um, we're going to have so many different lineups out there. We're going to go small. Um, the other team's going to have different lineups out there. It doesn't matter who's out there. Um, I think overall, I think we're doing a good job of hitting bodies and, and sandwiching, but the last thing we're, we're not doing is we're not pursuing. Um, so I think we have to leave the floor, go get it, and then that will help our offense getting out in transition and running. What in terms of like, so you, are you reading it off the glass pretty well and you think you're in good position that way and it's just like? It, I mean, it's more so of just you know who on the other team likes to go to the offensive glass, um, get a body on them. Um, but that's, like I said, that's only, you know, half the job is you hit them and then next thing you've got to go get the ball. Um, I think that's the last piece of what we have to do and collectively we have to do that because um, a lot of times our guards are low and our bigs are, are getting spaced out on the floor. So um, we have to battle down there and make sure we come up with it. Is Dallas, is Dallas really, I know you didn't see him last year in the playoffs, but last night it looked kind of like a replica of the playoffs. Are, are they a lot of what teams aspire to be in that in the fourth quarter, they seem to get better and find great shots. Is that, is that you know, the top end right there that we saw? Um, I mean, they're a great team. You have to give you know give them credit. I think last night, um, I think what we focused on after the game was we kind of let our you know foot off the gas and we kind of let um, certain things. We kind of felt like we beat ourselves in the turnover aspect and the second chance opportunities. Um, I think if we limit that, um, where it's a different outcome last night and we're feeling different you know coming into today um but with saying that yes dallas is a you know they're a really good team they went to the finals for a reason um and you know they're doing exactly you know what you expect them to do to start the season he will pass up looks just to get the ball moving more and kind of spark more of that especially the times when you're out there like as kind of the point guard do you find yourself doing that yeah yeah i mean um it's something that i'm used to in years past but getting adjusted to coming off of last year was a little bit of a different role. Um, but with that being said, um, as long as we get an, an open shot, a good opportunity, and the ball is moving, we'll live with make or miss shots. Um, because, you know, you have to give yourself up for somebody else to get a shot. And I think it's contagious. If, you know, if Mike does it, um, Nikhil will do it, and I'll do it, and I'll go down the line. Um, and when you have everybody doing it, Julius, Ant, uh, Nas, then it's, you know, we're a whole different team. It's kind of like you sacrifice now and at least a greater good. Um, yeah, but I think it's just it's the overall, you know, overall who we are. Um, we're not a, you know, just you know, we have the ability to go one on one, but that's, you know, I think we're proving it that guys can get easy looks when we we go away from that for a little while and then we can come back to it and be able to do both. Um, and I think that's the, you know, that's the great thing about our team is we have the ability to do both. Like he's kind of like has his own cadence, but he finds shooters kind of at his own speed. Have you talked with any other guys about how to be ready for Julius? I know you had a couple of guys. Um, yeah, just knowing, you know, talking to guys, just knowing where he likes to pass the ball, um, knowing when he likes to pass the ball. Certain, like you said, he has his own his own cadence, his own, you know. You just got to figure out how to work around him, um, and we're and we're new to this stuff. Um, I mean, me, I played with him last year, so I have you know, I'm playing off of him, knowing when, and he knows when to get the ball from me. So it takes time, and guys are figuring it out. But I think he's doing an amazing job right now. I mean, he's one of the best coaches in the league, so I think there's no need to do any of that. He'll figure it out. He sees everything. Um, there's obviously, I love playing with everybody. There's guys that you see, you know, playing with Mike makes the game a lot easier. Playing with Jaden, Nas, like, I, mean, I can go down the list. Um, there's, there's things about every player on our team that I love playing with. Um, but it's all about how all five go together, not just two or three guys. Um, so I think that's what we're trying to figure out and how long are stints, how long, how, you know. So it's a long season. We're four games in, um, and we're just figuring it out. Kathy, do, you, do you feel good overall about the strides the offense seems to be making collectively? I mean, you guys are shooting a good percentage. You're getting good shots, like just on that part of the on the, the On the part of 
Yeah, on the part of getting the looks we want, yeah. Um, I think myself, um, a few other guys we haven't caught a rhythm yet. Um, but it's it's easier to catch a rhythm when you're playing good offense. Um, and that's exactly what we're doing. So it's not like a panic button for myself or other guys shooting the basketball on the team is um, we get good looks and you'll get into a rhythm and you know when that lid comes off the basket then you'll see a whole different team.